What are you doing? Got the camera hooked up. First day for the bike. Yeah. First day. Yeah, it's been months and months and months. Well, I guess it was last September, maybe? Got to be. Since we got out, of course, when I had the heart attack. I not only wasn't allowed to drive till till this yeah. past week, so That's right. well till well Friday, two days ago. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna jump right on the bike. <laughs> and usually, usually for the first ride I go by myself. That's right. But everybody during my illness was so involved with our with my illness, including you. I said, first ride, everybody comes along. That's right. And that's why this video. Now, folks, as God would have it, he gave us a nice day. That's right. But the devil added the wind. <laughs> and it is blowing something wicked. So I'm trying to get the audio right, but the audio on motorcycle is brutal. That's why when you're watching videos of motorcycles, you see a lot of uh, music added. Right. So what I got done, come over here, show you. What I got done, GoPro Hero 5. We've used this all winter in the tractor. This here is an adapter, so you can get better audio. The GoPro Hero 5 is, what is that doing? Oh yeah, shut off then. The GoPro Hero 5 is just brutal when it comes to audio. Just absolutely terrible. And that's another thing the bugger does too. It turns off once in a while on its own. And I, when I hooked it all up, I just had to do an update on it. So I started off with a, with a, uh, I started off with a 100% battery and I think I'm down to 80 now. And I haven't got on the bike yet. So, let's see now what's going on here. Now she's taking it, she's taking the fitness, turning it off and on. Yeah, very temperamental. Yeah, well, I don't know what it's doing. So anyway, what I got done is I got a microphone put in the ear. So what happens is when I plug this into our audio system on the bike and put it on intercom, I'm going to turn it up so hopefully the folks at home will be able to hear the audio of you too. But remember folks, it's a very windy day and what happens is Kathy is going to pick up a lot of wind through her mic on a helmet so you know it's kind of a long shot i mortally hate doing videos on motorcycles i just have absolutely no control over it so if the wind is bothering you if you can't hear kathy and you can't hear me hit the mute button turn on some music on your computer and just watch the ride yeah that sounds good right so you guys can add your own music you can help me edit if you're not happy with the audio yeah good good right so the bike has been all checked out I checked it out before we even hooked up any camera equipment so we have all the right air pressures in the tires regards to the mechanical part of the bike and the maintenance that's that bike is maintained so well that I mean it's it's, it's as good as new condition so that's not even a, a factor to worry about so but I will advise you to hold on everybody put your helmets on because you never know and we have a new uh, a new uh, option on the bike this year that we never had any other year, and the bike is a 2003, and that's nitroglycerin, <laughs> and that's for texters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's for texters. So yeah. I guess this is the first time you got a chance to go out with her with new boots. No, you, no, you, I've had her out with, with, her all, with her all her new boots on last year. Really? Yes, because it wasn't it last winter. winter we put all the new boots on, it was the winter before. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would never that's, have remembered. Yeah, no, we, but there's only, 500 kilometers on the new boots yeah and uh like cr the uh fork seals and all that i mean it's it's all been done but last year we just got too busy and we couldn't no. we couldn't use it so let's get ready let's get going and uh, see if we can get some audio going here okay the other thing i want to tell you too before we take off is i have this microphone taped to the earpiece it's really uncomfortable for me because there's not much room left in the helmet with my big ugly head but it's the only way that I can get audio from Kathy to that camera. And also, I don't like a camera mounted on the helmet because you turn too fast, people get motion sickness. But I've tried putting them on the front and everybody complained that they couldn't see the dash of the bike while they're driving. I guess there's no perfect setup. There's no perfect setup. And we tried like motorcycle cams on the fenders and on the fairing and it was, it, it was no good. They never worked properly. They were just awful things actually. You know, you'd go for a ride, you go for a road test, or you go for a uh, ride, 
you come back and you'd have all your footage gone. Remember that? Yes, I know. You know, like one time to get you guys 20 minutes of footage, we rode for three hours. Yeah. So it was just one of those things, right? So we're not going to... hit or miss. Yeah, they're just not reliable enough. GoPro, even though it's good, it's still not perfect, but it's something. So let's get going. Okay, as you can see, I, I don't know if you can see it here. I'll see if I can put my head down low enough. I have the remote for the GoPro right here. And Kathy, can you hear me? Yes, yep, really clear. Okay, hang on now. I'm going to see if I can set this up where you can hear me even better. We'll turn it up. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because it, it's, it's normally louder than we have it, but mm -hmm. at least the people at home will be able to... Uh, be able to hear us yeah hopefully we're not shouting yeah hopefully again let me see. maybe it, it is might be a bit too loud hang on here now i'll turn it down to uh 15. okay everybody put your seat belts on chairs in the upright position yeah and don't go looking at no stud muffins going up the road or anything like that just is that warning for me or is that for everybody That's watching for, for you hey oh yeah for you oh because remember, I got nitroglycerin here. I'll blow the crap out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you don't know what this is in yeah, for. That's right. So, we'll close the gate now as we're going through. There we go. And this is our first official ride. Hey, I still know how to shift the gears. Just imagine. Yeah, I'm imagining. Yeah, that's good. Good. On a steel horse we ride. Yeah, that's the sound. Yeah. Well, I'd rather, I'd rather ride a steel one than a real one. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's not very good for you, is it? No, me and real horses don't, uh, don't get along. But that might have been an isolated incident. It certainly will be, because I'm never, get, I'm never getting on another one. You're gonna really hear the. Uh, you really hear the wind, eh? Yes. Yeah, you get sudden gusts. I thought oh, it was yeah. blowing off here for a second. Well, this is an 1,100-pound bike, and it's taking it just like it's a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. So, the only thing is, is that we're going back on ease back tomorrow, back to work, and you just can't choose your days anymore. No, nope, which is good. We're, we're happy with that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I'd rather be doing something in the shop than... Matter of fact, I'd rather be in the shop than on the motorcycle. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, lots of times I've went out on the bike and got, got bored and went back and went and shopped. Oh, yeah, that's happened. You've heard me say that. Okay, we're going to turn off the, uh, well, I guess we'll leave it on until we get through Bay Roberts. Right. It's going to be interesting to see how the audio works out. True. So, uh, what does uh, Canadians usually do? usually do when they uh, they go out on a motorcycle. Yeah, it's, uh, Where it's good to know. Maybe no, no. Course. Where do they usually go? Where do they usually go? Oh, Tim Hortons. Yeah, we're not going to that one. No. We need to go further away. That one's too close. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder where Americans head when they go out on their motorcycle for a ride. Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. No, they must have another coffee shop. Oh, around. look at the car that we had in our video. Look, that's the new, new owner. Look. Oh, yes, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Charger. Cool or what? That's very cool. We've got a chance to see it. Yeah. So perhaps it's still in the area. Oh, yes, yeah, it was sold in the area, yeah. Remember, we featured that in, uh, in one of our videos. Yes, that's right. Again, folks, you, you can see the wind is just taking the bike. So, but anyway, this is a bit of an experiment. It's all an experiment. Last week when I did the video, when we were in the tractor, or I was in the tractor, I kind of messed up because it was about two months since I uh, did a video with two GoPros in the, in the cab. And, of course, in haste, oh, God, 
As soon as you stop, the light turns green. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We need a light de turn the de, uh, <laughs> de greener. Yeah. Oh, hang on now, folks. Hang on. Boy, it's so going on, man. Oh man, there's so much electronics on this. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it feels good to get out of pulls like a train. Oh, no, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I think what do we count? Well, I think we count one day 40 odd motorcycles. Oh, oh yes. Oh God, my goodness wind. gracious, we're gonna blow up. I'm gonna pull over. You're gonna have to put some rocks in your pocket. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes, Batman. Speaking of Batman, Batman died the other day. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, he, he passed away. He had uh, leukemia, I think. Wow. Eight, 86 years old. Adam West. Yeah. Uh, he was my childhood hero. Oh, Man, I can wow. remember when Batman was on the go, Batman and Robin. Holy smokes. I would get, I had a Batman cap that my uh, father had bought me. Right. And Dad used to get a, a glad garbage bag, a black one. He'd make a cape for me. Yeah. And I'd go up and down the street. Man, I'm going to tell you, I used to tell people to get off the street. I was looking after the street. Oh, really? Oh, yes. So you were Batman's oh, sidekick, oh, I, I was. I was Batman's man. Oh, you were You were oh, him. I was it. <laughs> you were doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I was going to wear my Batman suit today, but I figured I'd get too many looks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you don't want that. Oh, my gosh. Does this ever feel good? No, but... Yeah. Wowzers. Yeah, it does feel good. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, if I get to the point where I can't even ride this because it's on two wheels on it, but training wheels on it. Oh, sure. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, whenever I get you around. But anyway, yeah, with the uh, tractor, when I hooked up the two cameras, I kind of messed up on the audio because we had to get up quite early that morning because of the... Uh, because of them dump trucks coming. Oh, and it usually yeah. takes me an hour to set the tractor up for proper video and audio, and I had to do it in like 20 minutes, so. And I uh, I put, I like the wrong camera. <laughs> That's why I feel it felt muffled, or sounded muffled. Well, I mean, that happens in the best of times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what do you do? Can't hear you. You keep turning. You keep. You, why is your voice dropping off? Are you? No, you're, you're. I'm losing your voice. Oh, is that right? Keep your mic closer to your gob. Well, if it's any closer, I'd be eating it. Well, if that's what it takes. Because <laughs> you don't have to listen to all the complaints on the comments. Oh yeah. Any any audio complaints I get that they can't hear you, you're answering them. Really? Yeah. Huh? So what did you say? Uh, we were up at 6 a.m. that morning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the other thing too, if you keep keep your uh, gob closer to the mic, you'll uh, you'll have less wind. Yeah, that could work too. Yeah. It's an old truck, eh? Yeah, that one's been there for sale for a little oh, while. Oh my gosh, they can't sell that. Wicked. No. 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 I just saw an old blow snower throw it out. Oh yeah. yeah. That must be done. Oh, yeah. For either that, you don't think we're getting any more snow. Oh, yeah. We're allowed to get snow tomorrow. That's right. Hey, we saw a family of ducks yesterday on the Trans-Canada. Almost ran them over. Yeah. On the highway. Yeah. Yeah. A mom and about eight or nine youngins. Oh, yeah. Right walking on the side of the highway. I know. A four-lane highway. Yeah. My gosh, you know what, is she, is she suicidal or? Yeah, I don't know why she came up because she left ponds. Yeah, she left all kinds of water. Yep. Maybe a predator? Could be. I don't know. She wasn't in no rush, could have been much of a predator. Well, I mean, they're ducks, how fast can they walk? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's really? I mean, she had eight little youngins, and yeah. they were all wild. Oh, yeah. Poor little things. We had yeah. swerve. I mean, you, you can't stop to try to move them. Sure, what the heck do you do with them? They, uh, hopefully they made it. We never saw them working back, obviously, no, no. hours no. later. No. Let's 
saying. And she might have said that and said, no, we better off back where we were. Yeah, it's pretty dry up here, you know. Yeah. But anyway, we're, uh, we're going through South River now. People will see this in community in some of our other videos. That's great. And we're going through uh, turn left here. That's the price of gas here, folks, is a dollar twenty-four point eight per liter. And it's much cheaper in the city, which is forty-five minutes away. I I don't like to say that they gouge us out here, but they gouge us out here. Well, I mean it is what it is. Isn't it? You know, it's friggin' ridiculous, right? Every got I know everybody gotta make a buck, but everybody got the same price here, you know? It's ridiculous. Suppose everything is the same. See, you turned again. You're turning no, you're no. turning your head. I'm not. You drop right off. No, I'm not turning my head whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe the wind is cutting it out. Hang on, intercom volume, intercom mute. I'll turn down the intercom mute, that way it won't cut out. It's on low now, you can see. Okay. Still hear me? Yep. Okay, maybe that's what's doing it. Maybe the, the yep. wind. Yeah, something else. Maybe the wind is hitting your mic and mute and you. Jeez, I thought that was easy. I'd have a compressor hooked up to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible because I got my garden thing is over it. Oh, yeah. And it's right close to my, what you call it? A duplicate. No. Nope. Yeah. Anyway, we're just passing by the town of Cupid's. You can see uh, Cupid's written on the sign, Cupid's Harbor. They say it's the oldest community in North America. Yeah. Am I correct in saying you are, that? Yes, you were. Okay. I need a little bit of backup here because I doubt myself. Yeah, sometimes, yep, sometimes we, we can't keep up with our history. Yeah. Anyway, I got it. I got my mic clip let go here. Okay, I got it back on. Wardrobe malfunction? Yeah, kind of. And of course, uh, all these Canadian gold wings had the uh, ABS brakes, which this one has. Which, when it first came out, I said, oh my lord. You know, why ABS brakes on a motorcycle, but it, it, it has literally saved me two or three times. And of course, why ABS brakes? Well, ABS brakes on anything basically is, uh, it helps you maintain steering control while braking. That's the advantage. It works. Well, it works because I had a CBX or something out one day. Remember that six cylinder? Right. That brake big? bloody thing we had there from Ontario and Buddy had trouble with his brakes. Oh yes, yeah. And I took that out and of course not thinking, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm, you know, it was still a very big bike. It's not as big as this, but it was still a pretty big bike. And uh, forgot where I was really sitting and when I put on the brakes they locked up and gee whiz man. Charles sure Coast Guard could see in there in the radar was tonsils where I was screaming trying to stop. <laughs> yeah, so it was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. You notice the difference. Oh yeah, well, I mean you get you get set in your ways and you get used to a certain style of riding and of course you're used to the you get used to the uh, comfort of the uh, accessories and all the new uh, technology and when you get on an older machine something 30 or 35 years older you really have to retrain yourself on how to drive it and how to ride it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There's a bit of a, a hole here. Okay. Oh, look, there's a man hanging out laundry. Not possible. Yes. You know why? Why? Heavily medicated. <laughs> well, we need to see about getting your medication increased. Well, sure, you had me washing dishes to the point where I got this man's hands. Well, now well, I'm hoping you're going to graduate to uh, yeah, hanging well, out I'm laundry. I'm hoping you're going to start learning how to use a mower. That's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, you enjoy mowing. Oh, yeah, well, I do. Yeah, I do. I really do. 
So we're going to turn off this now and we're going to take a little break because uh, I'm sure people are going to be bored with this. When we get into the heavily uh, trafficked area, we'll turn it back on, folks. So we'll get another little bit of scenery there for them. Yeah. Oh, boy. Not good. Okay. We had a little problem. We did. We had a technical problem. Yeah, we ran into a technical problem with the camera. We ran into a situation where it was taking burst pictures instead of video. So, I don't know why that happened. But anyway, it happened. It happened and we're back in business. Yeah, that's what happens when you're trying to ride, keep everybody safe, you're trying to operate a camera at the same time. But, it's okay now. Good. Hey, hey bye. Lisa, yeah, I looked at the remote, eh, and I, uh, cause I got the remote there put on the, uh, what do you call that? iPod. Yeah. And, uh, it wasn't blinking. I said, now why is that not blinking? So I said, well, if that's not blinking, that's not recording. Now when I would hit the record button, it would blink for two or three times, and then it would stop blinking, and I said, ah, something's up with that. Anyway, we're in Conception Harbor now, folks. Beautiful area. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, just look down there, folks. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Hey, do you want to drive? I'll look around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you cut out again that time. I am. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Just don't know. Yeah. yeah, you cut out again. Yeah, I don't. Here, I'm on, but. No. Can you move it close to your mouth? Oh, it's right on my lip. Yeah? I'm touching it. Okay. Maybe you're, is your cord plugged right in? Yep. Okay. It's weird. Yep. It's a gremlin. Yeah, I can't do much of a gremlin. No. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Intercom volume. I'll check my cord into the helmet one way or stuff, but it seems fine. Yeah. Everything else, unless there's one inside my ear there. No, there's no other plug. There's just oh, okay. there's one. There's one up by the top, by the side of your helmet. Yeah. And there's the one where you hook into the bike oh, okay. system. Yeah, but they're both secure. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. I just did that to wake everybody up at home. Yeah, you did. I'm awake too now. <laughs> So we're going to start hitting some slow moving traffic, so what do you do? To relax? Yeah, you just sit back and relax. So there's two ways to get to St. John's from where we're to. And this is the old Conception Bay Highway, and the other way is the Trans-Canada. You look at that sign there now, it says to Trans-Canada. Well, that's out in the highway. Well, today out in the highway, well, I'd lose Kathy because she'd just blow off the bike. Yeah, well, don't go making any right turn. Yeah. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to transcan the folks. <laughs> You're going to make a sharp turn now. That's right, yeah. I was prepared. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There you be. I would have just hung on to you and wouldn't let go anyway. Oh, yeah. You'd be like the flag in the back. <laughs> You'd be all of a flap. To be like you and that horse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Anyway, I posted on Facebook a couple of days ago that I love looking at horses, but I am literally scared to death of horses. And I'll tell you why. Back about 40 years ago. Oh, yes, 40 years ago for sure. I came here on holidays. 
and a friend of mine had a horse. It was a, a big horse. And I had a motorcycle then. I think I had a Honda 354. Nice bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a real nice bike. Very rare bike now. I'd love to have one now, but it was a nice bike. Anyway, she had a horse. And one day I stopped talking to her. I didn't mean like I discontinued talking to her. I had stopped the bike to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And anyway, she said, you like riding a motorcycle? I said, I can ride anything. She said, have you ever ridden a horse? I said, no. She said, try it. And I'm thinking, I just shot off my mouth. Well, yeah, now you got to do it. I said, can't ride that. It's near saddle on. At least this motorcycle, we got a seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said, there's nothing to ride him without a saddle. Oh, I didn't know. So anyway, now to, to get me up on that was another story. But anyway, between myself and her trying to boost me up there, I got up there. So anyway, I grabbed onto the rein. I guess that's what you call it, the thing that string that comes from his head. Main? The, the main, the rein, whatever. Yeah. The remote control outfit. <laughs> that last grab it here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Main. So anyway. So she said, just give that a flick or something. I gave it a flick, it never moved. It just kinda I tell you the truth, it kinda dropped off, looked back at me and give me a dirty look. That's what I thought. Oh, obviously it didn't want to go anywhere. Yeah. Maybe didn't want to leave her or something. I no, don't know. No. Anyway, I said, what do you do? She said, just tap them, tap them with your heels. So I, of course, I tapped them with my heels because I love animals. I'd never hurt one. And I tapped it with my heels and still didn't move. No, she said, you got to tap it harder. So I draw it off and give it a kick in the guts. <laughs> Too hard, was it? Well, boy, I'm going to tell you something. It's the first time I popped a wheelie on a horse. <laughs> and anyway, it started to run. And I'm going to tell you something about a horse. There is zero suspension on a horse. Zero. <laughs> it was the roughest ride ever I experienced in my life. So it started to run so fast that it was running down this particular road. And this particular road, as you know, is not very long. No. But the problem with it is at the end of this road, there's a wharf, a dock where they used to dock boats, and they still do. And at the end of that dock is what we call and we refer to affectionately as the North Atlantic. <laughs> and I could picture me and that horse going in the North Atlantic. Now, I wasn't sure if a horse could swim, but I knew darn well I could. So my main goal in life at that particular time, other than probably passing out through pure panic was to try to stay out of the water. <laughs> so I grabbed on to that hair that's on the back of his head and I pulled and I screamed and I looked, you know what, it's just as well to tell the truth, I cried. <laughs> and I said, sweet, honorable God, save me. <laughs> so anyway, Last going off, it wouldn't stop. And now we're on the wharf. Still wasn't stopping. So this wharf was about 60 feet long. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to measure the rest of my life, not in time, but in feet. <laughs> and like, it, like it, it had no intention to stop it. I said, my God, I'm on a suicidal horse. How unlucky could I be? <laughs> True. So I grabbed onto its friggin' ears. And when I pulled on its ears, it didn't like it. And then it put on the brakes. And when it put on the brakes, I slid down over its freaking neck and, and landed just below its front hoofs. I said, oh my God, I'm not going to drown. I'm going to be beat to death, stomped to death. But anyway, he got, he got afraid. He didn't want anything to do with the water. So anyway, I sat on the wharf until she came to get her horse. I won't repeat what I said to her. I won't repeat what I called the, course because, the horse because this is a family channel. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you put holy water on my head at that particular point in time, it would have come to a boil. <laughs> I'm telling you, and ever since then, ever since then, I will never, never get close to a horse. So the other day, we were going into Home Depot, and they had these horses there from the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary, beautiful horses. 
And people were climbing up on these horses, and Kathy says to me, why don't you get up and I'll take your picture and you can put it on Facebook. And I looked at her and I said, are you out of your friggin' mind? And I said, no. And I said, you are a very sick woman. It's not going to happen. And anyway, folks, that's my story about my horse and my fear of horses. And that explains we didn't get up. Yeah, not getting on them no more. Not happening. The only horses I'm getting on is a steel one like this. <laughs> no, you're, you're cutting out again. You Can you hold on to your cable? Maybe you've got a bad cable. Are you? Yeah, okay. Maybe the cable is blowing, eh? Well, uh, could be. I don't think so, though. Yeah. Well, something's happened. Yeah, something's going on. You know, like I'm after coming up with every scenario in the book. Unless Satan is back there, which your mother is not back there, is she? <laughs> no, but listen, you're not muting me, are you? Uh, not what? You're not muting me, are you? I'm uh, not muting, yeah. If it was that easy, I'd have you on permanent mute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're funny. Anyway, we're going to continue on as if we were normal. And we're going to turn this off again, and we'll show you some more highlights later on, folks. Now, we both know, like, Father's Day is coming up, right? That's right. So... Are you weekend, Sunday? Always. Okay. Are you looking for any ideas, or? I'm looking. Okay. There's one right there in front of us. That's not it. That's not it? No. I think that would be a lovely Father's Day. That, it would be, but that's not what I had in mind. No. No. Oh. You're going to have to wait till Sunday to watch. So do you, do you mean that I came all this way, and I was going to bribe you with a soup and a sandwich, and I'm not going to get that? Well, you better step it up a notch. Soup in the sandwich is not going to Oh, my gosh. You're some high maintenance. <laughs> I can be. Wow. Wow. Well, if you're stepping up to that, I'm going to have to be high maintenance. My gosh. It's only, and it's, it's not like I picked a real big one. No? Is that a small one? Well, small compared to the ones I used to operate. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Wow. Jumping. Oh. There's another nice view. Yeah, it's nice down here by the beach, too. Hey, there's motorcycle Harley guys. Let's see if they wave. Let's, let's play a trick. Oh, jeez, they wave. Ooh. Oh, there's a Honda guy. He's got Oh, wave. that's why. He got them corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? I bet you they wouldn't wave if you weren't aboard. I don't know. I don't think we could turn them all with the same brush. No? No. No, I don't know. Harley dudes are pretty good guys. They sure are. Yeah. Some are uncomfortable with letting go of the wheel, the handlebars. Well, that's either. true, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Depending on the road condition and where you to. Yeah. Yeah, so very true. You know, I hate to agree with you, but I got to agree with oh, you. Oh, I know. Well, because you, you know I'm right, that's what. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I just saw a nice book down there. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah? If you keep on talking to me like that, you're going to end up in it. <laughs> in the brook, in the rapids. There's a river over here to the right. Yeah, that's right. And that's where it's coming from. It's going uh, all the way down there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You see folks. Cool, eh? Yeah. Well, it's 11.24 Sunday morning. What's the date? It is June 11th today. June 11th. First time on the motorcycle this year. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hey, tomorrow is Mark and Paulette's anniversary. Is that right? Uh -huh. Well, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Two of the finest people we know, eh? They are. Yeah. And we know a lot of them. We know a lot of them, but they're up on they the top shelf. They're up on the top shelf. Yeah. Yeah. They're they've, top shelf folks. They've always been there for us, I'll tell you. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> True friends, eh? Yep. Great. You know, like, uh, I had a teacher one time, Mr. Emberley, he was in, he was my grade seven teacher. I'll never forget him. He was my most favorite teacher, you know, in, in you all of You mentioned him often. Oh, yeah. look, you know, I, he, he had such an influence on me. It was unbelievable. He was such a good guy. And uh, he said to me, you know, one time, he used to have these serious conversations with me, and he said... I think I was about 13 years old or something when, when my mother died, so I, I think he probably kind of took me under his wing as a teacher and, okay. you know, gave me that little extra time, right? Yeah. And he said, you know what, Paul, he said, uh, 
if you have one true friend in your life, you know, in your lifetime, you said you, you're you're a lucky person, right? Yeah. Man, we got thinking back now, after especially since I've been ill, see, we got tens of thousands of them. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I know. Hey? So I mean, we're over blessed. It's amazing, you know. Like I always try to tell a story of uh, something that happened during my illness, and. Uh, one of the things just happened the other day, you know, like we, we've got hundreds of cards, and I mean, I read every one of them, and I, and I kept every one of them. And uh, back about three or four years ago, this uh, person had called the shop and just had gotten me at the exact right time. I was probably sitting in the office, probably going over a work order with you or something, and you were busy or whatever the case may be. And... Uh, this guy had called me, and he said he was having trouble with this uh, Grand L tractor. He couldn't get his horn to work or, or something like that, right? Oh, yes, yes. And uh, so he said to me, he said, uh, you know, he said, uh, if, if you could help me. And I said, well, can your dealer help? He said, no, the dealer wouldn't help me. He said, uh, they didn't know, kept bringing it in. Bring it in, we'll have a look. Or, he said, I even called, like, Kubota America, which is, because he was U.S., right? Yeah. And I said, uh, you know, your horn is good, isn't it? He said, oh, yes. He said, it's, it's electrical. And I said, okay. Now he said, I'm going to be honest with you. He said, I know the wiring that I hurt because he said, I'm a cardiologist. Mm -hmm. But he said, I don't know anything about the wiring of a tractor. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. Now, you give me 10 minutes, call me back, and I'll go get the uh, wiring diagrams. And I said, we'll sit down and we'll go through it. Hey, look at the bikes, eh? So anyway... Uh, so anyway, we went through it, and eventually he found the problem. And I mean, that's all I thought of it, right? I said, really nice fellow to talk oh, to. Oh, really nice. Really, really, uh, yeah. very, very professional, and uh, also apologetic for calling, and, you know. Yeah, I remember when you were mentioning them. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. And of course, you came in, uh, what, Friday? Right. Or Thursday? Mm -hmm. And you handed me uh, uh, another card, right? Yeah. And lo and behold... It was for him. It was from him. Yeah. It was amazing, you know. Like, he remembered after three, two or three years. And yeah. uh, obviously he still watches. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it was just, uh, it was very humbling, right? You know, it was. Yeah. So nice of him to send a card, but then he added in the donation in oh, there as well. He, yeah, it was amazing. Nice. And yeah. a really nice note. Oh, yeah. Really nice, and a, you know, and a long note, a well-written really note, right? Yeah, absolutely. And of course, he was devastated the fact that our healthcare system was was like it is. He, he couldn't hardly believe that uh, we had to wait that long to get into the cat lab, right? Exactly. To get a dye test. Yeah. Whoops. Ah, that's a bad one. Yeah. So. so well, that's we, right, because I mean, he had personal experience. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, he he's dealing with that every day, right? With it every day, exactly. Yeah, so uh, it was uh, it was just so nice, right? So again, you know, uh, that that's just one one of many. But oh, you know, you know, he never forgot that nope. you helped him out and you were there for him when he needed you, and yeah. then he wants to do something for us. Yeah. So you know. But you know, you you forget that. Like I forget that thing, right? You know that that kind of stuff went on. Yeah. You know, when I'm going on with my daily life. Like, That's right. During a day, I might answer, I'm going to say, 30 different comments on a forum or, you know, or it could be 100 comments on YouTube. And, of course, with Facebook now, we'll, we'll, we, we reactivated our Facebook page. And, I mean, I think our friends have increased by, I'm going to say, 350 in a matter of a week and a half. So we post a lot on Facebook, or I do anyway, because, I mean, you, you kind of just monitor it. But, uh, you know, like, we, we'll always post stuff on Facebook before you even see the video of it, right? So it's, uh, so, you know, like, like when people uh, get on Facebook, I always try to at least like what they're saying or comment sometimes. And, but, you know, you, and then you move on. But then, you know, three years later, here's a, here's a, you know, professional person or anybody that just sends you a card and says, look, you know, thinking about you, 
and uh, hope you get well, you know, get well soon, right? That's right. It's, it's, you know, that's well, for you, you can't possibly remember everybody. You just know that you did it and you were happy to help. Yes, yeah. And then, you know, like you said, you move on. But then they're all, they're always grateful and always remember. Yeah. Well, that's so nice. Well, I mean, really, I mean, how how often do you see me on the phone? Very rare. It's very rare. Like, uh, there's two reasons that I use a phone. One is I'm extremely upset with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that don't happen often. No, thank God. I don't. No. And the other, the other time is when somebody is in, they're destitute in trouble. Yep. And they need some, uh, need some assistance. Then I'll, I'll get the phone. Yep. Well, fix the way you just don't have the time. No. The, the problem that I got with the phone, and it's, it's been a real problem, and I've mentioned it before in videos, is the fact that, uh, you know, like, like, we're trying to run our own business, and, and everybody needs a bit of help, but I mean, we can't possibly look after everybody's technical needs when it comes to their tractors or their motorcycles or, you know, like people will call the shop and say, look, I'm here working on my tractor, and I'm in upstate New York, and, you know, I just can't figure it out. Can you get Paul on the phone? Well, you know, you got to take me off a job if I if I got to get the phone. That's right. It's not and, easy. That's, and that don't happen, right? So, yeah. So that's why I don't get the phone. But during this illness, during my illness, it's been uh, it's been heartwarming to get so many cards and emails and and I mean I don't know how many phone calls you took. Mm -hmm. it was unbelievable, right? Well. So it's, uh, and of course, you know, the first two weeks that I got back at a hospital, I was almost, you could almost say semi-coma, I mean. Yeah, you were out of it a lot. Yeah. I could hardly, uh, this is where, this is where we almost hit the moose, isn't it? Yeah. No. Uh, a little further down, because yeah. you got to pass out of here, you would rock yeah. here. That's yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, past here. Yeah. First two weeks. I, uh, I really didn't know where I was to. I was weak, and I mean, I, I almost got tired just blinking. Yeah, you were pretty exhausted. You, you slept a lot. Yeah, so, and of course, just after coming out of ICU, six days in ICU, it was, uh, it was very draining anyway, because I'm going to tell you, anybody who's been in ICU know that you don't get any sleep. No. Okay, where that truck is passing, where, where we saw the moose? Oh yeah, well we're in the Mustang here one day, 4.30 in the afternoon, and a right moose here. came out right here. That is fun. Right there, right there. And man, I'm going to tell you, we, we have the video up there somewhere. Mm -hmm. It was crazy, eh? Yeah. It was a wild ride. Sure it was. But we got out of it, so... Yeah. Well, that's my Superman reflexes, eh? Well, no, I'm telling you, we have angels. we got angels uh -huh. watching over us. I I'm mean, that's you. why you're here now. Yeah. I mean, I'm just telling you, why are you still here? There's no doubt about it, yeah. Yeah. We were, uh, we're very lucky. We're very lucky. Yeah. Hey, we got to get some motion potion. What? We got to get some motion potion. We're almost down to, well, we're down between a quarter and empty. Well, I can tell you this, I'm not walking. Well, you're, well, you're not going to have to walk. You'll push. Well, I'm not doing that either. Well, I can't push. I'm going to sit there and cry. No, well, I can't uh, push. Well, you go ride while I wait for a step Don't up. shout. Don't shout. No? You know you're shouting? Am I? Yes, you're getting all excited, Jim. Oh. Here, you want to, you want to take some of that bit of that nitrogen glycerin or whatever they call it? <laughs> you well, got me down. Well, i got to turn this down, man. you got me just about dead here. Well, you you're doing some complaining. You can't hear me now. I'm too loud. Well, because you got all upset that you were going to have to push this 1,100-pound bike with me on it. It's 11, it's 1,350 pounds and 1,320 pounds. Oh, see, all you'd have to do is go hide, and I'd wait for the bike for a step muffin to come along. Oh, yeah, yeah but then you wouldn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not no help for me. Oh yeah, I'd send somebody back. Yeah, you would, yeah, right. You'd say about three weeks later, and say, oh my gosh, I forgot about Paul inside the road. I said, oh my goodness, I knew I forgot something. Look at the motorcycles, boys. Jeez, the Harley's never wow. running away. Oh boy, I'm telling you. You better scratch this down, you got a note? Take a note, because this is unbelievable. I'll take a mental note. There you go. Okay, so we'll turn this off for a while, give everybody a break. 
So we have to turn up here. If we want to continue, there's a new highway they put in a few years ago. We want to continue to the city. We're going to have to go straight. Yeah, we, that's right. Yeah. The other way would be on the highway to the city. Yeah. is not impeding everybody's ability to see. Well, of course, I'm looking through it. Uh, it's not, because I'm looking at the video screen. Oh, are you? Yeah. That's not still on, is it? It's just out now, but it was on. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes, because I just turned it on. Okay, yeah. You know, say the battery won't last at that stage, huh? No. So it looked okay? Yep, it did. Yeah. Not just saying, are you to compliment me? Oh, nope. you're time of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Try to focus on what we're doing here. So now we're getting closer to civilization. I guess. You can see the uh, traffic is increasing. Army guy, let's see if he can wave. Nope. He was by himself. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we need a group. Well, I mean, you know, you got to, uh, you got to have a couple not wave back. I mean, they got pride. They don't wave at a Honda. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to hang out, I'm telling you. That could be. Maybe he's too scared to death to take his hands off the hands handlebar. Off the handlebar. Yeah. yeah, we don't want anyone getting in an accident. No, that's right. So, where's an explanation for well, something? Well, it's true. Yeah, because, that's you know, a negative one, eh? There's a lot of people out there that's not used to riding. Yeah, true. Could be a new rider. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I love looking at old churches. I do too. I'm not so much at going in them, but I like looking at them. They're a work of art, aren't they? Oh, there's no doubt about it. You know, it's, but it's architecture that you don't see anymore, right? Eh? Well, that's true. I mean, everything has changed in that yeah. style. Well, there's a Tim's there, but we're not going there. No, we're going further down. Yeah. And there's a new fire hall. Yeah. Beautiful. Isn't that something, eh? Yeah. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Reception Bay South, Station 1. Yeah. And the fine people who uh, operate out of it, right? Exactly. True heroes. Every day they go to work. They don't know what they're going to face, eh? Exactly. Like, well, the, like the police services. And yeah, anyone yeah. in the services is the same. Like EM that. EMTs. And yeah. Yeah. We take a lot for granted, eh? We do, but we need all of those people. Yeah. We're well, gonna get some motion potion. Yep. You go to the car wash, eh? No? Okay, hang on now. Hang on now. Hang on. We'll get some gas. Back in a minute, folks. I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna put some good stuff in her. Okay, what she take? 2354. It's good to have some fresh gas in it now after all winter. Some fresh motion potion. So Kathy has gone in to pay for it. Make sure I have everything put together and put back. Hooked up yet? Okay. You're hooked up now? Yep, good. Okay. You got your cuffs on? Yep. Seatbelt? Yep. You liar. <laughs> I was on a roll there, so yep. I kept going. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Got your doors locked? Yep. Bad neighborhood here. Is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's only when you turn your head uh, we lose the... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, you know what? Might need a new cord on that helmet. I got them home. I got some spare ones. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I'll swap it out anyway. 
Hey, we have a full tank. We do, we're supposed to go home now. Now, if we had our bellies full. Yeah, my God, I'm that hungry now. This is starting to sound like a diesel. I know. Well, I woke up. Well, I, I went out at 5 o'clock this morning and had some toast. Yeah, that's right. I had a couple of pieces of toast and a coffee. That and, was uh, it. And that was it. Now it's uh, 10 minutes to 12 o'clock. Wow. And, uh, this is about the time I'm starting to, to get hungry. Yep, so now you do for some refueling. Oh yeah, big time. Big time. So, we got a ways before we get to Tim's yet, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it just down here, right? Kind of get mixed up. I get mixed up in the area. Yeah. Yeah, it's down further than this. We're in Foxtrot now. I thought the one we go yeah. to, I thought was down around Kellogg's. Yeah. Okay. Don't really pay attention, you know. We just know where we're going. We're just driving through. We yeah. Don't yeah. Pay attention to community. Okay. We got to make another lefty. Buddy got a CB0001 in the back of that truck. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. Someone needs to Google that right now. Yeah. And let us know. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh, I just took a cramp in me. What's wrong? In my hip. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a motorcycle. It is. It's a motorcycle. What is it? Have a look. You know what I think that is? Stove? Stove. A wood Me stove. Too. Yeah. Yep. How do you spell stove? S-T-O-V-E. No, S-T-O. <laughs> so like grove? Yeah. So we're coming up on Timmy's now. Yeah. gets a bit more congested down here. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head here. Oh uh, yeah. Like this is just absolutely crazy. Oh, help. I think I'm going to have one of everything on the menu. Yeah? Yeah. One of everything. You are hungry. One of everything. Mm -hmm. There we be. Perfect spot. How's that? Perfect. Well done. Okay. Have a looky around. Okay, we're ready? We're ready. We are ready to go. Take care, bud. Oh, yes, yes. I'm too lazy, man. I'm too old now to be pushing this around. And the wife won't get off and push. <laughs> okay. You hooked up? Yeah. Okay, I gotta see. Okay, now. Yeah, she, the, uh, when you put it in reverse, you lose the intercom for a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's working. Yeah. over this way and I'll get over here that's the one you said is in hard shape huh yep that's the one it's hard
hard to get out here. Yeah. I think I'll just give myself a wedgie. Did you? <laughs> Holy smokes, Batman. Yeah, hard to get out. Hey, look at the old truck. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. Yep. Well, everybody at home should be getting dizzy now, the way I'm moving my head watching for traffic. Yeah, it's hard to get out because everyone's turning in here too, a lot yeah. of traffic. Cool. Yep, cool. Well, you know you're having a good day. When you find mushrooms in your chili at Tim Hortons. That's right. I found three full mushrooms. Wow. That's not, that's well, not I, common. Well, I got to go look for a lottery ticket now. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yep, you'd like to see mushrooms, but they're very rare. In the they're very rare. They're a very rare commodity. They are. Yeah. Never mind roll up the rim to win. No. See if you can sure find work. mushrooms. Yeah. 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 A good day when you find a habitat. Oh, yeah. That fella must be new around here because he didn't know where Bay Roberts was or how far it was. No, did he? And he don't know how far the boys are coming up from Pouch Cove. Or Pouch Cove. Pouch Cove, yeah. 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 hard when you're traveling by yourself like that, you know, you don't have anybody to talk to. And no, that's right. Ain't nice fella, you know. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Not many of us left. No, it's only, not. only me and him. <laughs> There's a few more out there. Yeah. Well, I was going to set this up so I could, uh, So I can do a map, right? Oh, yeah. Jim, the wind, eh? Man, oh man, oh man. I'm going to pull this over. And I'm going to see if I can set up my watch here to do... to do a GPS. Yeah. So we can get a GPS coordinate on this. Hang on now. Okay, let's see here now. So maybe we'll be able to get a GPS or be able to put a map, a map on the uh, video, right? At the end of the video so they can see where we Yeah, that'd be nice. where we left and where we came back. Hey, bud. Yep, see where we've been? So it's about, uh, what, 20 degrees Celsius? Yeah? I don't know. I've got to see in a second. Either. When she refreshes here. The road is brutal. Yeah, the road is brutal. 21 degrees Celsius. Wow. Well, that's not bad. That is not. Tell you not the music we used to be listening to growing up. No, nope. that was a different era. Oh yeah. That's when people. That's when people didn't wear their pants halfway down over their knees. Yep, that was a whole different time. The caps used to be screwed on straight. <laughs> and when you bought a new cap, you took the tags off them. <laughs> True. Hey. Good point. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you took the tags off your hat. Yeah. Now, even on nowadays, you don't throw away your tags. No, you keep the tags on them. Stick Yeah. Stick Stick are left on your hat. So, 
Well, basically it's going to be the same as getting here. That's right. So maybe what we might do when we get into Holyrood. Yeah. I don't mean Hollywood. I mean Holyrood. Yeah. Uh, we might go down to the uh, marina. Oh, yes. And have a little look, show the folks at home what the marina is like. Beautiful area. Yep. And uh, see what happens then, eh? Sounds like a plan. Okay. I know how to change it back to the video when it messes up. Yeah, that's great. So the marina, we're in Holyrood now. I wonder, no, that's not it. That's some of the driveway. But we're getting close. We're getting very close. Look at the truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. There's, they're ready for the boneyard. Yeah, I think so. It seems windier coming back, eh? Yeah, it does seem like it. Now, lady, you don't want to be pulling out too, uh, too soon. Ooh. There's the marina down there, so yeah, it's just next road. I tell you, it must be 20 years since I've been down here. Oh, yeah. They don't waste a lot of money on road signs either here in Newfoundland. No. Lots of boats. Lots of boats. Wowzers. Lots of sailboats, that's for sure. Sailboats, yeah. Man, you think they'd be out this today? It's windy enough for it. Holy smokes, man. Sure, they could be in Ireland in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, we'll go up here and turn around, come back and have a look-see. Yep. Catamarang over there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for guardian type of thing or something? I don't know what it's for. It's, it's, a, it's a strange looking little thing, whatever it is. Holyrood Marine Terminal. Hmm. Now see, I'm getting the woolies just looking out at that. That's another thing that I don't like. Water. <laughs> Water and horses. Water and horses. I get to Woolies, so I look at an old boat, and man, I get goose pimples on my pimples. I know, we used to have a boat one time. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I, like, it wasn't too bad out in that one. But if I, like, if I look out and I see a boat and there's waves coming up around it, yeah, I almost break out in a rash. Nice, though, isn't it, eh? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. They had nice breakwater put there. Look, to protect them. Yeah, they do. Must have been some work. They look for a bite to eat or something, aren't they? <laughs> oh no. Jump at your herds and throw it. Yep. Hopefully people at home aren't getting too giddy because I'm moving the uh, helmet so much. Oh uh, yeah, so oh. look at us, they're putting down boats in the water and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the problem is we're riding a motorcycle with a camera on, you still got to look around and see where you're going or who's going to go to hit you. Yeah, that's true. I had a cop ask me one time in the shop, he said, when he saw the bike and the trailer hooked up to it, he said, don't bother you trying to ride that. I said, no. He said, you don't worry about getting hit. I said, no, I never said that. No, that's right. He said, no. I said, I'm going to tell you something about motorcycles. I said, when you're riding them and you look around, you automatically assume that everybody around you is out to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's it's true. true. It is true. You know, one time all you had to do was worry about going through a green light and making sure it all was going through a red light, red light, right? 
Yeah. Now you have to worry about if somebody's even going to see you because they're right. texting. They're not paying attention. Too yeah. many distractions. There's a lot of distractions in the vehicle. Yeah. And I mean, there's people buying these cars, you know, they got all kinds of goodies in them and oh, yeah. GPSs and MP3 players and, TV. you know, and, you know, whatever, right? And there's all yeah. kinds of stuff and televisions and everything. And I mean, they don't even know where they're to in the world, but alone in the car. Uh, that's a little bit early for all of that stuff. I guess we need uh, the car to drive itself. Oh, well, that's coming. It's coming. It's working out. That's coming, but yeah. somebody will find a way to hack that. Yeah, you don't know where you're going to end up. You get in, you program it somewhere, somebody hacks it, you put it up. End up in Russia. Yeah, in Russia. Yeah, with Trump. <laughs> yeah, end up in Russia. Trump. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I hope she's not going up that hill. She's yeah. Gonna, she's going to be a while. Yep, Ford now slow, she's walking on the level. Yeah, that's great. Poor thing, I didn't. I thought someone was walking by the side road with nothing on. So yes. she had like pants. Yes. Well, she only had she only had pants on by a technicality. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody now be rewinding that, <laughs> rewinding that. Yeah, yeah say my God. What, you know, what did you say? I just said. They'll say the film was only an hour, but it took me four hours to get through it. Exactly. It kept getting stuck going up the hill in Holyrood. Replayed it. like a train. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, I see my Father's Day gift coming up. Oh, yeah? Where? Right there. Big yellow thing, look. Oh, yeah. You don't want nothing for Father's Day. Well, I don't want a new one. No? Not like I'm being greedy. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that'd be a pretty awesome Father's Day, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. You want to see some ground getting tore up then? Yeah, really. Wicked, eh? Yeah, I think it's bigger than we need. Think? I think so. Uh, we need a baby one, though. Baby one? Yeah, but I think you'd run out of things to do with it. Huh? We'd run out of things to do with it. We'd have to tear it all back up again and redo it. Well, there you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. And re replant the trees we took out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. The motorcycle behind us? Yeah. They're not monkey bears, they're ape bears. Ape bears? Ape. Yeah. Oh. Same thing, isn't it? It's a Harley because you can hear it. And yeah. Here we are with helmets on. Yeah. And we can hear it and he's back, uh, he's back, what, 150 feet? Uh-huh. So imagine now how loud that is on his um, bike. Yeah, I probably got earplugs on. You'd have to. Yeah. Have no hearing left. No, brutally. Yeah. Well, there's another Father's Day gift. Yeah. Well, one will do me. You don't have to be buying them all. No. No, just one. A good yeah. one though. That one's faded out. I'd have to, I'd have to paint that. <laughs> did a nice job up there. Remember that was all rock. All, all rock. Bit. I don't know how they did that. I don't know either. They've been breaking rock there for about three years. Yeah. I was surprised when I saw the house walk there, but it's working out. Yeah. We had a plan. Yeah. Oh, oh a tractor. Tractor. Boeing. The BX. Oh yeah. Yeah. The Volkswagen. Volkswagen? There's a Volkswagen. I didn't see that. I was in the truck though. Well, at least you got your priorities straightened out.
22 degrees now. Oh, it's a, yeah, you can feel it getting a bit warmer. Yeah. Even one degree, you can feel it. Yeah, you can. So this way, that place is a nice destination, isn't it? It is. It's just the right... Uh, yeah. It's what, probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes taking yeah. your time? Yeah. I mean, if you stay in Bay Roberts, Briggs, and around, you're in that a community, just stopping yeah. the going and turning. And yeah. And down here, it's fabulous. Yeah. Stay on one main road. Yeah. this today and it was just like I was never off of it. Exactly, yeah. It's usually like the first drive we take, I usually do it by myself, right? Yeah. Just to get, you know, the only thing that like, I, I have trouble with is finding the switches. Like there's so many switches on the handlebars. Yeah. You forget, right, where to? Yeah. Like the reverse button. I get that mixed up with the cruise control. Yeah. That'd be something now backing up automatically like 80 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Another nice thing about going this way, you get all the twisties, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is the premium street or the road around here. Yes. Like for motorcycles and sports yes. cars. And scenery. Yes. Let me face it, when you get out on Trans Canada, you don't really see much. No. I guess it's like down in the U.S. anywhere, you know, you get on a freeway. You don't see much, <laughs> but you get on the, uh, you go through the little communities and stuff. Along the way, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm going to have to, uh, well, I don't want to shave anything off it. I'll give people the choice to watch it or not, right? Yeah, that's right. Some people will probably enjoy yeah, the, longer. the longer trip, right? Yeah. So. Well, I mean, one thing about longer, you got options then. You can cut it out, pause it, speed forward. Oh, yeah. And then the rest you want. It can make, fun, you. make fun of my riding. Yeah. They can have a full hour poking fun at it, the way I ride. Yeah, there you go. I know one, I have some bum numb. Yeah, bum numb? Bum numb. <laughs> Again, I can't sit in one place for too long, see? No. I need to stand up now and air the boys out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better wait to do that. Yeah. Don't be doing that just yet. Oh, they drop down over the side now and we get run over by the back wheel wheel here somehow. Not off the edge. Yeah. Wheels and lock up solid. They'll hear the screams in Toronto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the old place there, eh? It was an old store one yeah. time. Yeah. Remember, you know, they used to have the wooden doors on them? Yeah. And then you'd open up the door and a little bell would ring? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Little, another little door you'd step in. Yes, that's right. Foot, really? Yeah, well, it was like, it was almost like a bifold door, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's type one. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody had the same way, right? The same thing. Yeah, did they? Yeah. And you'd walk in and you'd have, it had that special smell to it, you know? Was it, yeah. they, and they all smelled the same, right? They just, you know, the goods that were in them. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was fantastic for you, know? it really was. Yeah. We've lost a lot of that with supermarkets and, yeah. and you know, and not only that, back then you knew the storekeepers by name and they knew you and... Oh yeah. Right? You know, you didn't have to go in and buy a pack of smokes, you'd go in and buy a smoke. Yes, that's right? Yeah. yeah. You know, just the way things were, right? Yeah, you could buy individual of something. Yeah. yeah. People would go in and say, can you charge that, put that on my tab and we'll be back now when we get paid and pay for it. Yeah. I never did it, I was too young, but I mean... 
you know, it was a way of life here, right? It was the way of life back then. So yeah. what we're going to say, what we say, 40 years? Oh, 40 or 50 years ago for sure, right? Yeah. yeah. And you'd go in, you'd buy your beef, and they'd have it in a bucket, and they'd yeah, scoop, it. scoop it up and weigh it, and then they'd wrap it in brown paper, yeah. and then they'd tie, tie a string around it. Yeah. Yeah, that was the way it was back then, but we've lost that personal touch. Well, I guess time's progress change. Yeah. It's like we were talking about last night, you know, like everybody had, had a dog, or everybody had a cat. I don't remember mom or dad ever taking a dog or a cat to the vet. Matter of fact, I don't even remember a dog or a cat getting sick. No. Now they're no. going in old Kubota car. Oh. They're going in now and they're they're uh, getting groomed. They're spending more on the dogs grooming than they than they groom themselves. Well, it's a big business in dogs, pets, all pets, I guess. Oh, all yes. pets. Oh, uh, yes. The clothing and grooming and yeah. toys. Oh my goodness, toys. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them have a lot of toys. Oh yeah, we know. Uh, yeah. We know people who got a lot of toys for their, their dogs. Yeah. Don't do. we, Mar don't we, Marty and Vanessa? Don't we, Vanessa? <laughs> <laughs> Not mentioning any names. No, Amika, spoiled dog, that's for sure. Yeah. She's adorable. Yeah. It's too bad. It's so windy. Yeah, exactly. But I'll tell you, whatever it is, is a lot better than sitting in a, or lying in an uh, ICU, you know? Yes, yes, still in, many people still in hospital like the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, when, you, when you've been in that position. Well, when I was in the week that I was in, two people that we know quite well died. Yeah. In the same hospital. Yes. yes. The guy that we bought Forky from. Yes. He, he passed away. Brian. Yeah. And then our good customer. Yeah, a good customer of ours passed away. Yeah. She was battling cancer for years. Yes, tragic too. Yeah. So sad, eh? Yes, it is. Yeah. So out of three people that I knew, I was the only one that really walked out of there, right? Yeah. I was the lucky one. Yeah. customers from this area? Oh yes. Yeah. Quite a few. Yeah, a lot of our customers come from uh, the way. Oh yeah, a lot further than this. Yeah. Matter of fact, way further than this. Way further. Regularly from the city. Yeah. Yeah, they drive uh, we got one customer that'll drive 45 minutes for an oil change. Yeah. That's devotion. It's amazing. And been doing it for years. Oh, yeah. Some new development over there. Yeah. See yeah, another one of those homes are for sale now. Yeah. Another one there with the top soil. Yeah. I guess when we get to Bay Roberts, we'll go in Tim Hortons get a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think when we get that far, we'll make it. Yeah, you think so? Even me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in famous Brigus. Yeah. Yeah, Blueberry Capital of Newfoundland. We're we'll at the Blueberry Festival. Well, Blueberry Festival for sure. Yeah. In August, I believe. Uh -huh. In August. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's like a big garden party. Every community has their once, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice.
wheels, one written under, oh, yeah. under the hand. Be a collector. Yeah. Well, Ford's got a pickup out called Tonka. Yeah, that's right. That's another big thing here on Sundays too, coming this way. Everybody got their own little flea markets and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it creates some trouble with traffic. It does. Yeah, because there's just, you don't have much warning people stop suddenly. You don't think about it. And they're not watching where they're going. They want some of them don't want to stop. They just want to look at. They it. just want to look and they keep, you know, driving slowly, going slow, or even driving off the road. Yeah. You know, if you're half interested, you're better off just automatically pulling over and looking and having your look, right? It's just the way it is. But yeah. again, it's not. There's no common sense anymore. There's no. Well, for your safety as well as everybody else. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That dog over there looks like a handful to handle. Doggy, dog. Uh, yes, yes, we see him. He looks very energetic, doesn't he? Yeah. I remember about six or seven years ago, I was coming the opposite way we were coming here now, and there's a road to the left of me here that comes out to this road. Yeah, that's right. And that's Buddy right. never stopped at the stop sign. And I was coming on through, and he just went right in front of me. I would say... Yeah, right here. This right here. Yeah, he went right straight across the road. And he never even slowed down. And I was... If I had to be a second or two quicker, he would have got me. He would have sideswiped me. And I'm going to tell you something. He went through there at highway speed. Yeah, didn't even know there was a stop sign. He didn't even put the brake on. Didn't know the road ended. Nope. Yeah, I mean, right, right out on the main road. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. So, I don't know how many lives I got left. I mean, that that moose in Holyrood last year with the uh, Mustang. Yeah. Like, I mean, that was so close that you thought he hit the car. Yeah, it, it sounded like it. Well, you were looking down at him at, him, at your snorting. Yep. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Must be another reason why I'm still around. That's right, thankfully. Yeah. Nice out in the water, eh? Yeah, beautiful. I'm only fast by that area near uh, around CBS, I guess. Remember I said I saw the mama duck with all the little ducklings? Yeah. I mean, there's a crow right on the bridge watching. So, you know, he must be wanting the duckling. I wonder what he bought him. I wonder at that age now. He probably you just know, he up. So. He's probably just curious, but yeah, maybe just ducks watch. over there, look. Yep. So it's uh, quarter to two. Quarter to two. So we yeah. done okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Traffic is well for here. It's busy. Yes. It is. But you would expect that on a Sunday, on a nice day, so... That's right. Yeah, I mean, everyone's looking forward to getting out for a drive. Oh, yeah. And even this spring hasn't been a good spring, no. you know? It's, yeah. been, uh, it's been cold, it's been yeah. rainy. Yes.
good about the uh, newer vehicles on the road now. You don't, they don't stink. No, that's right. You know, they all got their converters on. And yeah. Diesels are the worst now. Yeah, diesels are yeah. smelly vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, fellas taking all the pollution stuff off them, right? We, we really need, you know, uh, emissions, emissions testing. testing yeah. yeah. We really do. Yeah, yeah, in order to get vehicles, once you sell one, yeah, it has passed emissions. Yeah, definitely. Register. this Death Valley here. Yeah, for good reason. Oh man, everybody is just cutting in. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled, eh? They do. You don't have a moment to look around anywhere. Dips in the road are brutal. Oh, they are. Bum num. Oh. Bum num, bum num. Oh, you scratch your bum. Oh, God. I think the cheeks of the arse are in their pockets. <laughs> oh. Stang, there's a stang. Come across. Oh, okay. Shall open the gate. We shall open sesame. Thank you. Thank you, gate. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed your little ride with us today. You can uh, put your trays in the upright position, and uh, women and children depart the aircraft first. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for traveling with us today. Yes, yeah, and hopefully you'll return and travel with us again. Great. Uh, sorry about the meal. We uh, we would have took you in, but when we looked out, you were all sitting on the bike. So I said to Kathy, go get them. No, I'm waiting to get my meal myself. <laughs> so, folks, I hope you enjoy it. Sorry about the wind. Out of our control. Don't know what this is going to work out like, but anyway, we're going to put it up anyway. See so you guys. Take care, and God bless. Holy smokes. Oh, me ears hurts. <laughs> Imagine that a long ride. Oh yeah. We're getting too old for this racket. <laughs> <laughs>